Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And the Crescent Apex Company makes a handful of these little devices that are basically insulators. And this one is quarter square, so they're impact rated. And they sell for between eight and $10, depending. They make ones that are three eighths. They make ones designed for um, hex drivers. But anyway, all it is is a little insert that you put between your uh, tool end uh, and say the fastener, and what it's designed to do is essentially the same perhaps as a thousand volt rating on, um, on a tool. So I thought I'd play around a little bit with it, um, have some fun. Uh, I discovered a couple of things. Um, let, me, let me just jump in and get to it. So as far as I can tell, in, this is some very hard polymer or plastic material. Um, and then They've got obviously metal coupling on both sides, so ideally up to a thousand volt rating or a thousand volts, as you can see here in the fine print, uh, should not be able to go through this. Whether or not it could jump the gap, that's, that's a whole different thing. But I thought I'd uh, pull out my high frequency generator and play around with it. Hopefully nobody gets hurt. So first of all, what I'm gonna do, I've got my Electrotechnic uh, high frequency generator. This turns out about, um, 20,000 to 50,000 volts at about a tenth of a milliamp. Um, make sure my, this is good use of these um, soft pliers because I can actually put different bits on this. Um, so I want to make sure that one's on snug and you can see this is what happened, you know, before I had soft pliers. But anyway, I can turn this thing on. Um, so I'm I'm, I'm having to kind of wing this now because my camera uh, is affected by the field here. It smells like ozone. Um, so I sometimes lose my ability to see what I, what's in focus and what I'm working with. So anyway, if I, if I hold this thing up right here and let this thing get close, you can see it's jumping the gap. Uh, seems fine. Thought I'd test it out with a few others. Here's a Weeha. In fact, I'm going to crank it up a little. We're probably at about 30,000 volts here. I'm not feeling. Eh. Occasionally, I get a touch of a tingle. Let's try the Amazon Basics. Seems to be pretty good. What about the pliers? That's good. What about just a regular old, I'm going to crank it down a little here, regular old pair of snap-on um, with their kind of thicker dipped handles. Move my fingers a little bit further away. I kind of grab them. And they're doing pretty well. Whoa, there I got a zap. Something right in here. I don't know. Uh... I don't know if I should try. Ow, yeah. I don't know what it is. There's some part right in here where I'm getting zapped. Is it that dot? No, I don't know where it is. Anyway, what about the old um, dipped handles? Whoa, ow. Got bit somewhere. Let's try the. Ow! Oh, there it is. Check that out. That's what you got to be careful of. Look at that. Ow! Sorry. Yeah, you can see, see it jumping the gap there? Move this a little closer here. Check that out. There it is. Whoops. So it's going right through and out that, that part of the plier. Um, well, oh, let me show you this. I don't really want to do this again, but something I discovered playing around. When I was holding it like this, and again, this is a lot more than that 10,000 volt rating. I actually got it when I was moving around. I don't know if I can do it. I don't want to do it again. It hurt. But if you look at the thumbnail for this video, Look really close, and what you'll see is this 
I've got the uh, shock, the, uh, the electricity going into this side, but you'll actually see at this gap here, an arc or another jolt of electricity jumping to my thumb. Um, maybe I'll, I'll put a still in. Uh Um, but that's, I, I was probably at over 30,000 volts, of course, you know, very few, you know, just a, a fraction of a milliamp, but I was getting a secondary jump out of the center of this. So I was two or three times over what it says it's rated at, but I did get a jump out of that crack. Anyway, are they worth it? Well, I guess that's the overall conversation of are we, should we be using insulated tools? I think, yes, uh, there, if you look at the advertising, this is designed, you know, to save a life. Basically, you put it, you know, wherever. Um, it, in fact, one of the reasons I got this one, not only was it, you know, one of the least expensive, but I figured that I would just drop a bit driver on it should I need to, uh, you know, drive bits. Um, but then I can also immediately get my quarter inch if I want to use this thing. Uh, is it something that everyone should use? Well, that goes back to one of the questions I've asked about insulated tools. And uh, for some reason, people are thinking I'm saying you can be sloppy or just if you can be a DIYer and get this and you can, you know, dive in with reckless abandon into electrical projects. Absolutely not. I, everyone I know has at some point shocked themselves. Whether some, some power wasn't turned off, there was a short somewhere. I used to have a house that uh, the plumbing was actually electrical. So if you were touching any wire and a pipe, um, you'd get a shock. Anyway, this was a, uh, this was more, the discussion was more that if you use these, there's no harm in using them, but if something does go bad, this may protect you. Not, this gives you license to go ahead and try to do anything you want. So I think may, there may be something to this, or if you're in any situation where there ever could be a problem. Um, you know, maybe the, somebody might turn on a circuit or a switch or you're, you've got to do something when, in, when it's, the electricity is hot. So anyway, I think things like this do matter. Um, but I also think that there's a lot of people who, um, you know, might get sloppy if they start getting insulated tools. So those are the people I don't want to deal with. Instead, it's just, it's like wearing a helmet. I don't want to crash. But if I do, uh, I don't intend to. Um, I wouldn't mind having some extra protection. But anyway, so there it is, the Crescent Apex um, E-Shock Guard. I've been working also on a Snap-on joke. I thought the P-Shock Guard maybe for Snap-on for a Price Shock Guard, but I didn't go there. I guess I just did. Anyway, with that, Doc out.